Good morning. You find us over the road at the uh, the bar. Everyone's getting coffee this morning. Apparently you can't function without coffee. I managed nearly 40 years and uh, it's nice and warm in here. So coffee and perhaps like a muffin or something is the item for breakfast. And what else they got here? Ice cream, nuts, random meats, wine. But the sun's nearly coming up. There's our albergo across the street there with that big blue uh, cross is. And uh, it's quite frosty outside. I feel like buying a box of cast wine for uh, 15 euros. Here are some boxes of cast wine for 15 euros. I wonder if someone didn't get the jackpot and uh, went the rage with the vending with the poker machine. Sun's up now, and we are headed in uh, back in that direction. I think we have to go back across that bridge. But this car has been here for a, a while, and it's a bit frosty. Hey, kitty kitties. So today we're heading to a town called Osobredo. It's on top of a hill or a mountain. Um, the last time I did this Camino day, uh, we went sort of a different way um, towards the east, south, the south, I think. Um, that day nearly killed me. Oh look, yeah, that day nearly killed me. Hang on. Australia. As I was saying, that day nearly killed me. Um, the last like half an hour, hour was just up the hill and the only thing that saved me was a vending machine that dispensed coca-cola and that gave me the little bit of pep to get me up over that hill so today we're not doing that today we're actually like 5k's closer because we stayed at a closer albergue um, and we only have to do the the last bit that I did prior so fingers crossed shouldn't be too difficult but we shall see in the meantime, there are about 400 cats around the place sleeping. Uh, they must have had a big cat party last night. So, let's get some water, let's down some bananas and continue on. Creepy doll. Like some road works on my head. At least there's no traffic. I wish you'd not walk on whatever that is. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Ready for a swim? 
I don't think so, not today. Converging rivers for our next little village. It's a town that's called Ambas Mestas or something like that. Maybe a Fuente with a safe water that may be not frozen. Oi! Oi, oi! Vega de Falcasia. It's a big old bridge. It's like the ruins of an old castle up top of that mountain. I just stopped just there, there's a supermarket and grabbed some fresh bread and it tastes amazing so this is like brunch You're looking after the sheepy diggy dog looking after the sheep mr. dog This is like an extra channel here from the river, from that river. It's weird. And then in places it has been diverted across the grass. They had a bit of rain a couple of days ago, so that might be from that. Here we have an old church, followed closely by a, looks like a stopped project building apartments. It'd be a perfect place to come for a swim in the middle of summer. I would love to take a trip. It's a nice day to take the chickens out for a walk. Okay, we've started the uphill climb. A little bit steeper than it was before. 165.9 La Faba All right, that's all the rest you get. Now back up the hill. You can see there's a whole bunch of moss on the trail, which suggests that perhaps there was a tree covering or that tree collapsed. But uh, it's good going it's up this hill. You can kind of see where we've come from down that valley and we're sort of doing crisscross coat, what do you call it, hairpin up and down. 
It's a bit muddy in this section. I'm trying to step on the uh, dry leaves, otherwise I get bogged. Bit of a quagmire. Switch back. Good fuente at the top of the hill to uh, wash your face in. The town of La Faba. That fuente hit the spot. Video back off road again. So we've just come up this path here. And you can see all the mountains with the snow in the background and uh, we're headed up there I'm fairly sure because here's the path and it spirals now I take a wild guess what that brown line is well it smells like cow Mud everywhere. It's just nothing but the soft mud from all this melting snow, and uh, it just sticks to your shoes. So squidgy. I'll be lucky if that's just uh, mud. It's like the fruit man is in town in his truck. Uh, don't get up, boys or girls. Hello, puppy. And here's the vending machine that saved my bacon the last time. What have they got today? So, a Euro 20 for a bottle of a can of Coke. Okay, there's Fuente here. Here, grab yourself your buff, put it in the water, dunk it in, nice and cold. And put that around your neck. Oh yeah, that will uh, cool you down. There we go, cooling down now. I think we've only got like four and a half kilometers, so perhaps just uh, just under an hour, and we'll be up the top there. <sighs> View though. All right, welcome to Galicia. <sighs> the last little state within Spain. We did it. So from now on, we see Galicia at the bottom of the uh, sign poles. We have 161 basically kilometers left to go. Very cool, very cool indeed. You kind of see where we've come from this afternoon. Coming up to the top now, there's a few uh, cars up here. Hello ma'am. What a view. Because uh, here's the town that we're staying, Los Sobrero. So I'm going to check out where the uh, albergue is. From memory it's on the other side over there and uh, double check to make sure it's open and then I'm going to send a message to everyone else but yeah 160 kilometers left to go
Look at this beautiful thatched roof building here. Oh, the beer trucks here. I do remember having a um, meal at that restaurant, the church. Looks like this pilgrim here is a uh, coin making machine. Yeah, definitely remember in there. It's proper snow, it's not ice, it's actually crunchy. Crunchy under your foot. And look at that, the other side of the mountain. Yeah, for memory, the albergue is here. It's a good sign when there's plenty of other footprints. So, hopefully there are not people walking in then straight back out again. Look at that day. Wow. Entry to the albergue at the top of the building. Okay, let's go around this way to the top of the building. Here we go. Oh, that's definitely ice. Here's the top of the building. We open at one o'clock. No blankets. Eight euros. And uh, it's two o'clock. Anyone who starts a Camino must wait until the final hour for minutes. So there's a phone number on the counter there. Maybe there's someone in here somewhere. Let's see rubbish bags. Yeah, rooms are downstairs. The kitchen up here. I don't know whether they have the uh, um, pots and pans and such. Oh yeah. Very cool. Just come outside again. No one's here at the albergue, I don't think, so I'm just going to hang out and wait for someone else to arrive because I don't really see the need to uh, call someone just to check me in for them to go away to come back to check other people in. So we can kill multiple birds with uh, one stone, then I think that's just more sensible. Instead, I could come out here and stand in the sun and um, enjoy the lovely view, because it is an absolutely lovely view. I did notice that that little shop before was selling toboggans. Um, there must be like a toboggan slide area, like a toboggan slope, that's what we're looking for. Um, I can see white over on that side. So, yeah, I think they must have had a bunch of snow that people were coming up here for and enjoying. I don't think this place is open. No. Oh. So everyone's up the hill now, and we've even got Giro. He flew over from uh, Italy again. He had to go home to uh, sort out some affairs. And now he's back, he caught the bus here. After a hard day slogging it up the mountain, we are partaking in the pilgrim meal at the uh, restaurant that's the only open one in town. And a beer and course number one, which is the macaroni. And that was the other option, which was a uh, Galician soup. Uh, round two, the uh, the beef, steak with chips and beef. We've got a backpack convention happening over here. All the backpacks are all lined up. Stop doing that. <laughs> all the old photos of pilgrims from a bygone era. They're just interested to figure out where we've actually walked from. 
Hopefully. <laughs> no blankets. Cold water. <laughs> We are checked in. Upstairs on the left is the rooms. Oh, this is a bit smaller. And then our view is of snow, mountains and eagles. Very cool. Ah! <laughs> He's an athlete. Oh sh <laughs> So it's a really modern albergue. Every bed has its own little light. So you have a light switch and you have like a holder for your phone. And each bed has a, a PowerPoint. Whereas like there's three beds here and there's four PowerPoints. So everyone's got a PowerPoint so you can charge your stuff. Here the boys are making a snowman. Um, watch. <laughs> it's huge! In here we've got toilet, another toilet, and have to go all the way down the stairs. I swear this is where we had showers last time. So down there, yep, here we go. There's no um, temperature control, so you're gonna have to just get cold. And then they have their own laundry. So it's uh, three euros for a wash, two euro for a dry. And you can make your own if you wanted to as well. We're trying to make Santi, as in Santiago, the snowman. That's probably going to be the middle. That's going to be the bottom. And my worthless creation is going to be the head, I think. <laughs> so here's Santi the snowman, and uh, looking a bit wicky whack. Got euros for eyeballs, a rock for uh, for a nose, but you know what? For Australian and New Zealanders who live in the North Island, this is a pretty decent snowman because we haven't had experience at this. So, well, you're actually going to write. There we are. Now we have a backwards hat, cool Santi. He's doing a wave. He's got a mustache now. And it's still a huge rock. So as the sun sets another day, I've used the window as a clothesline. Here's my bed. It's 7.30, but people are starting to uh, come in from different places that we haven't met before. So uh, I'm going to upload this video and uh, see you everyone tomorrow.